in the previous video we talked about anchor stage now in this video we'll talk about choice stage choice stage is used to select one choice out of multiple based on choice criteria it helps you to take two or more decision at a time the value of the data item is compared with each choice criteria if it finds the matching value related steps are executed else otherwise choice are executed otherwise choice is similar to no in decision stage let's take one example check alphabet is vowel or consonant so first we need one data item it means one variable where we can pass or we can store our alphabet let's say we'll pass a or b or c d like that second data item we need where we can show the result like this is vowel or this is consonant so first we'll take two data items so just, just double click on that take one data, data item and second right now double click on this and put here alphabet choose the data type is text select this result select the data type that is text click ok set here by default in initial value first time a so that will we can run this using a alphabet now we need to check here check alphabet is vowel or consonant in this we have five vowels and 21 consonants so we'll go with vowels first because we have only five so we'll take choice stage here just drag and drop and here you can see once you drag and drop this choice stage automatically one otherwise choice will be connected with this now just link with this now just double click on choice and here we need to enter our choice name and then the criteria so we have five choice a e i o u so we'll put here vowel and then let me add five here and then let me add here a to i and then we need to check here if in the text we'll check if alphabet equals to a so same way we have to do for all like alphabet equal to a then e i o u let me do this first copy so here you can see our choice name is a and then we are checking if alphabet equals to a whatever value will pass in this this alphabet data item that will be matched with this so a equals to a then related steps will be executed if we'll pass e so e if equals to e then this related steps will be executed right now press ok here you can see we have added five choice there so there are five choice here added here automatically so this is for a e i o u if alphabet this is equal to a so we can directly say a is vowel right so let me take one two three four five five calculation stage so that we can update those text here let me take this first double click on calculation let me connect this so you can see now here we have a e i o u so if alphabet equals to a it will come to this and then it will enter here it will write a so it will write here alphabet so we'll show like this uh, whatever value will update will put in the alphabet variable this data item that will also show here so let me take here one this one alphabet concat this and double quote space age vowel right will show like this if alphabet a so a is vowel we'll copy this and we'll store this in the result now press ok same way we'll update for this also
and this is the last if you are putting other than a e i o u then what then it will go to other voice section so here we can put here otherwise this is consonant let's put here name and then in the calculation we will update here alphabet is consonant but will update the same result in the result data item show this we need to connect all these calculation stage with the end and just decorate this one change the name consonant press ok reset this and now we are ready to run this so we have already entered here alphabet a so it should go here and check a and then it will go to this this a and then end let me run this so it will check here and then it will come to this now you can see the result a is vowel now ref reset this enter here b reset this run this so if it is b it will go directly to the otherwise section it means consonant and it will show b is consonant 